Okay, good morning. We are continuing our city manager job shadow series. I'm Zach Walker, city manager for Independence over here at the police department today. Sir, why don't you tell everybody your name, uh, your title, and what you do here for the police department? I'm Sergeant Kevin Freeman. I do all the training, recruiting, and hiring for the police department. I basically organize everything, um, plan training as it happens throughout the year, and make sure everybody gets their post credit so they can maintain their license. Awesome, and tell folks at home what post credit stands for. Uh, police officer standardized training is the licensing agent for all police officers in the state of Missouri, and we have to maintain certain hours for them. Right, so folks can't just show up one day at work. There is some pretty rigorous background training and ongoing training to being a police officer. Correct. Very cool. So give us a little bit of an idea of some of the um, training components that you oversee. Um, I actually oversee all the people within the academy. The okay. six months are in the Kansas City Academy. Okay. Uh, with this next group, we're going to MCC Blue River. Uh -huh. uh, once they're released from the academy, we have a two-week orientation, which consists of everything from force on force to first aid, tactical medic, uh, defensive tactics training, firearms training. If we issue them a weapon, we make sure they're certified and trained in that weapon in our agency, regardless of what the academy taught them. Okay, so when we, citizens think of cops, they probably think of, like you said, some sort of a weapon, uh, but there's also non-lethal um, tools that the police department uses in their day-to-day -day, um, as well, correct? Correct. And, and we're gonna see some of that today? Uh, today we're actually doing uh, star chase training, right. which is a, uh, it, it helps minimize pursuits and limit the pursuits we're in. Pursuits are one of our highest liabilities. Right. So we do everything we can to limit the, the liability in that and reduce the risk to the public in those and Star Chase is one of those. Right, um, so talk a little bit about what Star Chase is, how that um, technology works. Star Chase is basically a GPS tracking system. Uh -huh. uh, it's installed on a certain number of police cars we have here. Uh, the officers, all officers in patrol are actually certified on it, but if a uh, pursuit actually occurs, Star Chase will move into position where we can deploy Star Chase, and once they start tracking it, we could back away from the chase, reduce speeds, and just hopefully catch the bad guy and his car when they stop. So kind of like a GPS tracking device, you can see where they're at moving around the city. Correct. Uh, dispatch me. Dispatch monitors that okay. and lets us know where they're at. I can think of a couple people I'd like to know where they're at moving around the city. I'd like to know where a lot of people <laughs> are. <laughs> okay, so tell me a little bit about um, today when we get to go out and, and demo this technology, um, how this is going to work, what uh, our viewers at home are going to see. Um, this Actually, what, what you're going to be doing today is once we receive the classroom training, you're right. going to go out, we're going to put a car in front of you, we're going to hit approximately 70 miles an hour uh -huh. and give you the chance to deploy the system to see if it, you can actually make it work. Very cool. Uh, and, and are we going to be shooting at Meg's car or? Uh, I'm going exactly? to gonna give you the biggest car I could find okay. and hopefully you don't miss. <laughs> that would be good. Okay, so we'll do some of the classroom training, um, which is something our officers would see as well, correct? correct? They're not allowed to uh, deploy the system until they've received this classroom training. Okay, and final question, are you Starsky and I'm Hutch or other way around? Mm, I don't think I'm either right now, <laughs> but I'm willing to let you jump over the hood of the car. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks. Appreciate it, Sergeant. Okay, Sergeant Freeman, we went out, we tried by virtue of the fact I'm holding this cartridge. I think we have proof that I did not successfully attach to the pursuit vehicle. So we've got some additional training we'll need to do before I'm certified in uh, Star Chase. We do, I mean, you gave it a good effort, but it was <laughs> your first shot, but we'll, we'll keep trying. Right, we'll, we'll get back after it. But in all seriousness, there's a lot to keep track of as an officer, you've got your radio going, the adrenaline of the chase, making sure you're close enough and knowing when to deploy. So certainly we learned today why training is so important in things like Star Chase. Correct. As a police officer, we, we could develop it over the years, working with a radio, driving, pursuit driving, and then adding this onto it where you tried to learn it all in one day. 
and, and things like this and other technologies, it's all designed to help keep our officers and the public safe so that we can apprehend suspects as needed without putting anyone in jeopardy. Correct. The, the, the goal of this system is to minimize pursuits to, to, for the safety of the public. Okay. So. Well, speaking of keeping the public safe, it's probably good that I am out of the vehicle and going back into my office now where no one can get too seriously harmed. Well, I think you did fine. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Appreciate everything you do for the citizens and for the department. And we will see you next time.